Welcome, AG. How are you doing? I'm well. How are you? Excellent. So you're going to be one of actually 33 authors. We added one more author to the mix. Um, Saturday, November 30th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Holiday Book Festival in Milford, Michigan. Wonderful. You have 37 dark contemporary romance books. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your books. What are you bringing with you? What can we expect? Um, I have The Boys of Chapel Crest with me, Black Falls High, Kings of Bolton, um, Mayfair University, probably. Those will probably be the four series I bring. Okay. And what are those books about? So the, it's an entire dark reverse harem crossover world um so everything intersects the stories do um and then uh the boys of chapel crest is a dark asylum reverse harem and she's mute one of the guys who wants her tried to uh take her out like physically oh. when she was a kid and um now she's been sent to an asylum and he's there and she didn't know he was there <laughs> so that's what that one's about um black falls high is like a best friends to enemies to lovers reverse harem and then um they have a college series which is mayfair university and then we have kings of bolton which is a mafia reverse harem Ooh, interesting so a great variety um how long have you been writing when did your first book come out uh 2015 oh wow and you have more series that are coming Yep, I have a, uh, my alphas keep my list. I think I have over a hundred currently. Wow, that's so a I'm I'm always having ideas. I just don't have enough time. <laughs> I need a phone. <laughs> so, do you plot them out, or do you just nope. no plotting? Just no nope. your pantser, huh? <laughs> yeah. Awesome, cool. So you did. It says in your in your bio that you were so you're actually from michigan yeah you briefly moved out and went to college in iowa yeah awesome and you're r raising three small ghouls <laughs> <laughs> they're not so small anymore but yeah <laughs> awesome so what got you uh started writing uh dark contemporary romance um, well, I started writing paranormal romance because paranormal and fantasy are my favorite to read. Um, and then I, I was new. I didn't know what I was doing. Like, you know, a lot of new authors, we just kind of want to tell a story. So we do. Mm -hmm. Um, then we don't know what to do once we tell a story. <laughs> so that's kind of where I was in 2015. I was working emergency medicine and I just kept meeting all sorts of interesting people. And I was, I guess, inspired by a lot of it. So I was, I kind of just started to veer off um, I studied the market and I realized that I my personality probably matches more of a dark um, theme anyway so I thought well that's probably where I need to be and so <laughs> with the market study that I did and my own ideas and in in inspiration and personality I was like well that's that's what I'm gonna do and that's what I did awesome so you're the books that you have lined up that will be coming out um, are those also all dark contemporary romance or have you ever no. thought of going to a different? So I do have a couple like regular, um, MF just contemporary romances that aren't dark. Like I have a college football one that's pretty popular. Um, he's, it, it he is her twin brother's best friend and her rival. So I wrote that. And then, um, I was going to write like two, uh, her, her twin brother's um story and then their friend's story so it was kind of like a little trilogy of standalones uh and then for christmas i have one that i want to release that's also male female regular contemporary where she's a sassy news reporter and he's this big shot popular ceo guy <laughs> um just it's probably more hallmark than anything hallmark was <laughs> kind so of it's, it's out of my <laughs> it's out of my usual um box of of stuff 
So I like to mix it up every now and then, but I do have some non dark things I'm working on. Oh, cool. So, um, so do you work a nine to five job uh, along with your writing or is it only nope, writing? my, yeah, my, I just write my, my writing sustains both of us, my, me and my husband and our kids and he works for me now. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I'm the boss. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have any other events that are coming up between now and the November event? No, I'm just kind of hanging out, writing books. <laughs> That's always a good thing to do. <laughs> awesome. So your book is in the book cover contest. Mm -hmm. And that book cover actually made it into the second round. So we're in the sweet. Okay, nice. So great. Uh, let's see here. So where, where all do you typically advertise where, where you market your books at? Um, I do Amazon ads. Um, I took a class and learned how to run those. And that's actually what really changed everything for me as far as being able to use my writing as a support like mm -hmm. to, to i worked on an ambulance i was tired and i needed something new so this this took over and um it's brought us to crazy places so we it was the amazon ads learning to run those and then we do facebook ads and TikTok. oh okay TikTok, interesting i have not ventured over there Is it's rough. That <laughs> <laughs> Do you see, I, I know of one other author that does really well selling on TikTok. Do you use that as a selling platform or just a general advertising platform? I, it's, it's mostly like I have a team and they post videos and then um, I post my own uh, content and we just push it out like that. Oh, okay. I have a TikTok shop, but I'm just so busy. I haven't been able to like <laughs> dive into that part yet. Yeah, and say I've known one other author that does really well on on using a TikTok shop, but she's the only one I've heard of. <laughs> so awesome. So how do you go about developing your characters that that you have in each of your series? I usually take parts of people I actually know. And I take those little bits of their personality and I turn it into stories. Like I have a character named Cole who's modeled like his behaviors are a lot like my husband's. Oh, okay. So, so I, I do that. Like there's like things that I really like about people I know. And I'm like, what if I could combine all of these things and make a super character? And that's kind of <laughs> what I do. <laughs> so have you ever used that against people? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> As they writing dark contemporary romance, I bet you could, uh, Oh, I didn't like that you did that. Oh, I think I'm going to kill you off. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Well, great. This has been awesome to get to know you. And I will meet you in person in November. Okay. Thank you for joining me. Thank you.